Hi, my name is James, and for the last couple of years, I've been making handheld games consoles using Raspberry Pis. I've ended up designing something that I would like to try and develop into a product. So in this video, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to introduce the same boy. The Game Boy Color was the first console that I vividly remember completing a game on. This ancient example of consumer electronics occupied a big chunk of my childhood. This is where I got into gaming. But now, well, the Game Boy is just a dead format. Modifying old consoles with brighter screens and rechargeable batteries is nothing new. But with the advent of tiny little computers like the Raspberry Pi Zero, I wanted to make an entirely new console and wrap it up in a Game Boy shaped package. For my first attempt, I performed this hand soldered Game Boy brain transplant on my childhood Game Boy. It's a lot of fun, but it's very delicate and it's hardly feature complete. Making it gave me a vision of a Game Boy Color that looked totally stock on the outside, but ran Linux. Not just a mod, but a complete Raspberry Pi console that lives in a Game Boy shell. I then started designing some printed circuit boards and I've produced a few prototype replacement motherboards for the Game Boy Color. With a new motherboard and a Raspberry Pi Zero in place, you have a same boy. Really, it's just a computer. The old Game Boy shell just provides an enclosure and the buttons. It's designed to have RetroPie installed. RetroPie is an emulation-focused operating system, but you could run anything, even just you know, desktop Linux, if you are, like me, that flavor of mad. There are over a dozen systems that are fully playable with the anachronistic controls of a Game Boy. I spent entire summer holidays on somebody else's Game Gear, and consoles that never quite made it, like the Neo Geo, the Atari Lynx, and the Wonderswan, all have a particularly fascinating library of games. Despite being a whole computer now, I still wanted the same boy to look and feel unmodified. For example, you never saw a Game Boy without its cartridge installed, so I have designed some fake cartridges to cap off the enclosure. I have retained the battery compartment as a compartment for batteries, which can be charged through a USB-C port right here where the link cable used to live. The status light is now polychromatic next to a dimmable and backlit screen that you can adjust with the volume wheel, which also, you know, controls the volume. This really tight integration with, you know, the Game Boy's controls would be really complicated with just a Raspberry Pi Zero. So with the same boy, you're actually performing a double brain transplant. This little chip here, baked right onto the motherboard, is an RP2040, the same chip at the heart of a Raspberry Pi Pico. It's literally here as a second brain, a USB connected, fully programmable microcontroller. Then it's here to handle all of the physical user interface. This innovation makes the same boy a highly capable console what I think is slightly more interesting is that it's now a time capsule. This one holds an entire era of early handheld gaming and it's bolted up inside of a classic and well-loved design that perfectly emulates how these games were designed to be played. Now I feel like I'm flying a little bit close to the sun here. Nintendo are a well-known antagonist to retro gaming. So the product I would like to make is a kit. It's my motherboard, a bunch of extra bits and hardware that provide a Raspberry Pi Zero with everything it needs to be a console. And then that whole thing just happens to fit neatly <laughs> inside of a Game Boy Color shell. We'll just have to see how far I get with that. Now I've shown you a little bit about what the same boy can do after you assemble one. But I want to make one more point, which is that you really do just assemble a same boy. I haven't just designed a printed circuit board, I have designed a process, which means all you need to put a same boy together is my kit, a Game Boy Color shell, and a Raspberry Pi Zero. Then, with only a handful of readily available tools, everything is designed to bolt together like retro gaming Meccano. What I'm trying to say is that assembling a same boy requires you to do no soldering. 
There are a million more details that I would want to show off about. This is like well over a year's worth of work at this point. And I'm so close to it that I've literally lost all context as to whether anyone else in the world <laughs> might actually want to assemble a Raspberry Pi into a Game Boy. I know there are a handful of people who want a Same Boy, they've all told me. But to produce these motherboards and assemble some kits economically, I need to know if there are some more people <laughs> who would like to have a Same Boy and who are prepared to assemble one. So if you would like to see the same boy elevated from its current sort of prototype stage into a real same boy, you can tell me in the comments along with any questions that you might have. I'll be putting any updates about the next steps on this channel when I work out what the next step is. So be sure to subscribe. I think the next thing to do is to start a Kickstarter, but there are a few different avenues I need to investigate. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you think this project is as cool as I do, I would be incredibly grateful if you sent this video to a few friends. Or if you think you could help and you would like to have a look at a prototype, then please get in touch. But that's everything for now. Um, I'll catch you later soon, hopefully. <laughs> Goodbye.